How's it going, everyone? So, <laughs> as we all know, California banned cars, gas-powered cars, by 2035. You can no longer buy a new car with an internal combustion engine, a regular gas car, essentially. But now, it's actually gotten a little interesting. So, there's a new, there's a new ban. There's a new ban, and now it is a ban on trucks on big rigs okay so <laughs> it's looking to ban delivery trucks work trucks diesel trucks essentially those big rigs so the california air resource board they wrote that this new rule directly addresses a disproportionate risk of health and pollution burdens are certain communities okay poor communities essentially that puts california on a path to an all zero emissions short haul drage fleet in ports and railroads by 2035 well it's the last mile delivery trucks and bans by 2040 okay san francisco gate reports controversial new proposal to ban diesel power trucks in california of course has sparked a divisive debate among the trucking industry well guess what <laughs> this applies to construction companies too which many of them they take their trucks their work trucks their independent contractors driving their trucks home and there's charging capability or grid capacity in the state to move all these giant trucks right over to zero emissions so quickly is very very problematic because they can barely keep the lights on especially in the summer, the grid is just not able to support it. It's a very big problem. The American Trucking Association, Mike Tunnell, he says, the infrastructure cannot be established in the time frame given. Fleets will have to deploy trucks that cannot do the same jobs as current trucks. Well, it's hard to not argue with that. Other points to logistical issues in the charging of the vehicles themselves. This will do damage to us. We don't understand how to charge these vehicles because these pieces of equipment go home with those men every day. They'll need to be charged from home, question mark. How do you compensate? But it's a little crazy because there's really no infrastructure to support the delivery trucks, right? Because a personal car a gas-powered personal car, you take it home, you charge it up, or you take it to work, you charge it up there, etc. Then you go on with your life. But the logistics of a big truck just get a little more complicated. How are they supposed to stick to their routes, you know, on-time routes? These guys are only allowed to drive a certain number of hours per day. I believe it's nine or ten hours. And they have to get to a certain place by a certain time. Right? So there are routes they have to abide by. And actually, some environmentalists, like the Sierra Club, they're actually saying that the timeline needs to be expedited to rid the roads of internal combustion engines sooner rather than later. But it does get a little crazy when you have the Energy Secretary, Jennifer Granholm, touting California's ban on gas-powered cars even though the state issued a flex alert. Problematic. Because they're at these flex alerts, they're asking California not to charge their electric vehicles during a heat wave to avoid rolling blackouts. Now it gets even more complicated because lithium prices have hit a new record high. And this affects, of course, all EV vehicles. EVs, electric vehicles in general, are way more expensive at the moment. Bloomberg reports that lithium carbonate, a key metal in, well, it's basically the key metal in EV batteries hit a new record high <laughs> so it gets pretty crazy here's a chart right for 2022 it has never been higher and as more companies more car companies start to adopt this ev movement then guess what while the producers of lithium are going to actually move the prices even higher because they're going to make as much money as possible famously tesla has been hiking the prices of their cars several times just this year you know five thousand here eight thousand there and all of a sudden we find out that these batteries are just costing a whole lot of money and the crazy thing is with china's issues we got c19 problems supply chain issues boats stuck out at sea whoo whole lot of mess mess of a problem well guess what 
Well, <laughs> that affects prices too. So the tighter supply chain creates higher prices. And then guess what happens? The delivery of these vehicles gets halted. So if California wants delivery trucks, how are they going to achieve this? It's a logistical nightmare because there's a huge hampering of an already squeezed oh, global market. And of course, the expectation is that the higher demand for EVs will actually lower the price of lithium. That's actually, at the moment, not true because it's very expensive to mine and produce the lithium batteries. There's a lot of high costs associated with the production of the battery. Half of an EV battery includes the lithium, nickel, manganese, cobalt, four metals that have surged, skyrocketed in price just this year alone. Here's a chart of the breakdown of the cost of an average EV battery cell. Now, according to reports, China controls the world's rare earth mineral trade. I don't know why. That would be interesting to find out. Now, in this chart, it actually says the average cost of lithium ion batteries of the battery itself has declined by 89% since 2010. But it's still very, very expensive. So maybe it's a great time to get into the lithium trade business or just <laughs> invest in lithium mining stock. And here's another chart. And as we can see, the sale, the global sales of EV cars, okay, has skyrocketed. Now, we put into consideration the California ban on cars for 2035, gas cars. That would absolutely skyrocket. Is that going to come to fruition? Well, we don't know. But there, <laughs> there's a pretty big correlation between the two charts, right? The price and the sales of EVs. And I'm surprised actually that the price hadn't come down more, probably because mining for lithium is very, very difficult and very expensive. Another issue that's not really mentioned or talked about is that a lot of the wearable tech, right, from Bluetooth headphones to smartwatches, obviously smartphones, and even laptops, everything includes a lithium battery. So as more and more tech is being rolled out, then <laughs> these batteries are consumed at an extremely high rate. So it's, it's, it'll be very interesting to see what happens in the next year or two. So that's that for the lithium batteries and, of course, the California truck diesel ban. So we'll see what happens in the near future. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Smash the like, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you next time.